and there's my buddy Calvin on my other e-bike and the sad thing is every time he goes out to fish his wife says you're not gonna catch any or she just laughs at him I guess his track record isn't that great but we're about to prove her wrong today first thing we're gonna do is look for some sand crabs get some in a little bucket and ride along the beach until we find a nice hole where we can fish for some stripers and perch all right i gave calvin the rod to go for some stripers right now he's using a kalisa and i'm looking for sand crabs there's no real big ones out here but there are a bunch of small ones and a little trick that you can do if you only find small ones is just find the small soft shell ones and those work really well if you can load up about five or six onto a hook Damn, my, my, my handle just broke. Just gotta do it like this then. Don't need no stinking handle, man. See, this is a soft shell. It's not that big, but big enough compared to all the other ones. So it should work just fine. Look, this one's even got eggs and it's soft. Life cycle of a sand crab, very interesting. So this is how I set up my fish finder rig. Little slider here. But the thing that I've always noticed when I fish this rig, no matter what kind of pound test leader I have, I always get a tangle. And I finally put two and two together. It's obviously because my swivel doesn't roll. The swivel is the thing that gets stuck and the, the line just gets twisted and twisted. So today I'm using a ball bearing swivel that I use when I fish for salmon. And that's what I'm connecting my main line to the leader to. And that should uh, have no problem and there'll be no tangles. Loading up the hook with three of them pretty sure it's going to produce a fish. Why don't you cast this out and see how strong the current is. Huh? See, cast this out and see how strong the current is. Okay, as far as I can? Yeah, and then just like super, super slow retrieve. That was a nice cast. Boom. Hell yeah. Don't retrieve it, just tighten it up a little bit so you feel tension. Let's just see how strong the current is right now. Holding. Holding. I right, do a slow retrieve. Bring it in super slow like an inch every every two seconds or something and then you might you'll probably come across a little school of perch and then you'll feel the bite or if you get lucky you'll get a striper next time i think the current is probably sweeping to the right so next time cast to the left a little so you can fish a little longer hey my marriage is on the line guys i can't catch the fish one thing that i've learned over the years is if when you cast it if you let the sand crabs stay in the water when you cast back that's a really bad thing because the surface tension of the water will pull the sand crabs right off the hook that was a good cast though man he's gonna get one on this one i bet you bet you i'm gonna get more sand crabs while while i wait check this out not only did i get a sand crab but i got a little shrimp too what is that a grass shrimp that's pretty cool calvin with the fish on fish on baby Little guy, little perch, little perch maybe, still on there? Not fighting very hard, huh? But it look, yeah, oh, I see it fighting a little bit. Nice dude. Sand crab. What is that? A little perch. Let me see that. Dude, that's a good one. That's not bad. Why don't we keep this and eat it later? We'll do a catch and cook with it. Let's go. That's perfect size. Let's go. All right, nice. Yeah, a record, but I'll take it. That's like perfect eating size in my opinion. Not too big, not too small. And the way you hold a perch, you kind of want to pet it, like pet its uh, skip the, the spikes on the top, pet it down so it doesn't come up. Then just get a good grip. Just hold it tight. Oh, he's bleeding a little bit. Yeah, he's bleeding. I think it's good if we keep him. He's pregnant though. I'm gonna squeeze the babies out. See those little guys? Probably not gonna make it either. But give them a chance. That's Are they still alive? Yeah, dude. Wow, I've never seen such a thing. I thought they would be eggs. Uh, yeah, no, a perch give live birth. I just wanna make sure we squeeze them out. See, if we keep them and uh it releases the babies in our in our bucket then that counts as our limit each baby counts as a fish so you got to make sure that you know i wouldn't want to keep him just let him live and have babies but 
we kind of gut hooked him so keep him and uh, I got my scaler we're gonna have some fish today that was pretty fast dude hell yeah we can stay here a little longer that's a nice perch I like that okay, let's go let's go that's his second perch ever. Just gonna throw it in here. I was throwing a little lucky craft earlier, but the fish are biting, so I'm gonna switch out to the sand crab rig, fish finder rig, and the little trick here, you wanna keep the slider, the way it if it's a similar slider to this, you wanna keep it attached to the top here, and that way it'll keep the weight away from your line as much as possible, compared to as if it were down here, it's gonna wrap around your line a lot easier, so. Keep it on the top and if the current is too strong i'm going to throw this weight on as well i'm going to have two weights on one swivel ball bearing swivel going to a little hook tiny tiny hook but that'll still catch a striper man I'm telling you a perch oh i may have came off no i think i still got him that's actually a decent eater size too i'm going to keep this one also Got one. Hell yeah, we'll keep that one too. I think it's catching release now for me, for everything else. That's a good little perch right there. You're gonna cut its gills too. Probably don't. Probably not that necessary to bleed these perch, but it's okay. Couldn't hurt. Woo! There it is. Nice. That's that. That looks like a nice perch. Biggest one of the day. That's a red tail. We gotta release that one. Gotta release it? Yeah, see his tail's all red. Yeah, here we go. Second one. Nice little red tail perch. Those need to be ten and a half inches, so we gotta release them. Look how big it is. <laughs> you see those birds out there? God, if I had my metal jig, I would be able to cast out there for sure. Man, look at all those birds diving right there. That's like basically within casting distance. If I had a a Mickey jig or a big old cast master, but there's no way I can reach it with my little uh, Kalisa right here. This thing is too light and it gets stopped by the wind too easy. It's a strong wind, probably about 20 miles an hour, gusts a little bit more. I feel like we should go home and go to my house and get uh, some, some, uh, some metal jigs. All right, we're gonna head out of this spot. Damn, if only I had my surface irons. We're gonna go find some place to cook this fish, let these guys take over over here and maybe I'll head back home, grab a couple Mickey jigs or cast masters, and try my luck with those, try our luck with those later. But yeah, we're gonna go cook some food right now. And trying to find a nice place to cook, going 15 miles an hour through the soft sand. I love this e-bike. Moto Bacon had it transformed into an e-bike. Pretty cool little thing. Man, it's really hard for me to stop and do this cooking when all these birds are diving over here. Look at all that. They're within casting distance too. So right after we cook, we're going home and getting our Mickey jigs and casting out and getting some stripers. I've never had fish cooked in butter. you never? Never had fish cooked in butter. Did you hear that? Calvin's never had fish cooked in butter. Well, he's about to have some right now. So we're gonna fry up two perch. We got three barred surf perch. And the first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna cook them whole. So first thing I'm gonna do is scale them. They scale really easily, skin tastes really good. And I don't know, a lot of people look down on surf perch for some reason. I always thought that they tasted really good. They were one of my favorite eating fish, but I don't know if that's just like a fond memory from the past. You know how if you have a relative or a parent who smokes or something or goes to the casino a lot, when you get older, sometimes that smoke cigarette smell is kind of comforting. Maybe that's the same thing with perch. Had this a lot when I was a kid, so I feel like I find some comfort in eating this, even though a lot of people don't like it. Very simple to scale, all the scales are off. And in my opinion, these are like the perfect eating size right here. Not too big, they fit in the pan well, all the meat peels right off. Should be able to cut, make a little slight slit there, reach down his throat, pull out all the guts, just like that. A lot of the times the perch have this black lining on their stomach. See this black lining? You guys know what that is? Is that natural? Is that like oil? That's <laughs> they, what, exactly what I was thinking. They eat oil? It's like from an oil spill? Oh my god, those birds are still there. Oh god. So concentrated in it. Yeah. 
We're going to finish this catch and cook and I'm going to go get some lures that we can fish for them. Can't throw that Lucky Craft thing out there far enough. These bones, if you don't take them out, they can be a headache when you eat. So sometimes I like to cut along the sides, both sides. And then you should be able to just pull them straight out. It should come out like a line. See all those bones come out? Just like that, so you don't have any of those bones there. Now you only got the middle spine bones, and right now we have these top bones on the fin. So I'm gonna take these bones out here. I'm just gonna slice along both sides, and I'll be able to pull it all out in one piece. So I cut the skin on both sides of the spine there. Now once it gets started, it should be able to just pull the entire thing out. There you go. All the bones are out. Do the same thing on the little guy here. Now you, got, you don't even have spines on the top, see? All that, you don't have to worry about getting poked anymore. Look at that, that looks good. I forgot what this blend is, salt, pepper, and paprika, I think. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it on, on the fish here. I think this would be good if it was grilled too, just like this. So next time you catch perch, try to do it in this method. Take off that top fin, take off that bottom fin. You got no bones on top. It's so, so nice if you're gonna cook the fish whole. Of course, a little bit of butter. That's how we're gonna cook it today. Well, this side is done, but all the skin came off. That's okay. I'm gonna cook the other one in a second, but just watch how the meat comes right off. See that? This comes right off the bones. Calvin, you wanna try that? Try that. Is that good? No forks. I always forget the forks. Too soft? You like the texture? No, it's right. It's good. What do you think about the texture, though? It's like a little mushy. That's the big It's very soft and tender. Soft and tender. Mm -hmm. I guess interpret that how you want. Yeah, it's a little soft, I can see that, it's kind of mushy. But if you keep the skin on, and if you season it well, it tastes great. Hey, but that seasoning is spot on though, I like it. Paprika, salt, pepper. So what are you gonna tell your wife when you get home? <laughs> Don't divorce me, I actually caught fish this time. <laughs> My marriage was on the line, guys, but uh, I redeemed myself today. I caught two perches. Two perches. And we're about to catch striper. New spot. Birds right here within casting distance. Let's go, baby. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Come on now. Just need a little school of stripers to pass by here. Oh, dude. I see the bait jumping right in front of me. Hey, there's bait right in front. Like, hella close. Hella bait. Anchovies. <laughs> They're hella close. Did you feel it? No, but I saw him jumping. Got something on here again. Another anchovy. Damn, look. Calvin, another anchovy, damn. Dude, those are good size too. Fish on, baby. Yeah, baby. Castmaster. It's a good one too. Drag is set good. Oh, he's taking drag. Tighten it down a little bit. Come on in, baby. Come on in, baby. Woo! Let's go. Taking drag. Come on, baby, get in here. First, one, uh, first striper for the day. It's a good day, look at that thing run. Drag's pretty tight too. Let's go. I don't know, this, this is a good one. This could be like a 30 incher. Oh, there he is, I see him, I see him over there. Dude, cast out. Go to my left, go to my left. I'm recording. Oh, I'm recording too. Come on in, baby. Come on in here. Come on in here, baby. Woo! Yeah, baby. Hell yeah. We getting them. Got them. First one, like, hitting the log, baby. All right, come on in with the surf. Oh, it's taking a little run. All right. Let this next wave bring him in for me. Here he comes. No, no, he's not. He's done. He's not done yet. Oh, he's a good. This is a good fish right here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a good one, dude. Oh, that's a beast. That's a good fish, man. Woo! Woo! Look at that thing. Look at that. Hey, I don't know how big that is, but that's a freaking beast. We're gonna let him go. All right, gonna let this beast go. That's a beast, dude. He's so fat, too. He's gorged on, on anchovies. Woo! All right, guys, see ya. Let him go. He's ready to go right there. See you later, buddy. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get another one. Oh yeah, my drag. That's a good drag set. How my hooks? Good, tied straight on. Man, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Oh yeah, that feels good. Nice. Let the wave take it in. On my Walmart jig. I think that, that's a keeper too. Fist bump, end the video. Fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. Boom. Let's 